Hi guys, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are gonna learn that how we can fetch data with the eloquent model. Alright, so all about the basics of eloquent model I already told you in last video. If you want to just start with that then you can watch our previous video. So now let's uh, see the uh, main points of this video. So first of all we will make a model. After that we have to make a controller and a router for it. And then we will import our model inside the controller. Then we will fetch the data inside the controller. And after that, we will pass the data to the uh, HTML view. All right. And after that, we will apply some where condition, order by, and limits, and etc. So, this is a full flash video for get the data from database and render it on the HTML. All right. So, now let's start with the code. So, first of all, I'm just going to make a model. For that, uh, we must have to know that what is our table name so that we can make the model. So I'm just visiting my PHP my admin. Sorry. And here you can see that uh, my table name is users. All right. So I want to make my model name is user because the table name should be the plural of our uh, model name. This is the standard of the Laravel. All right. And the database configuration I already did in my last video. So let's make a controller PHP artisan make model user and hit the enter. And now uh, you can see this model inside the app here. All right. So this is our model is ready now. So after that, uh, let's check the check out the second point. Uh, now we have to make a controller. So just write here PHP artisan. Just remove it for PHP artisan make controller and the controller name. My controller name is users. And hit the enter. Now you can see that uh, controller inside HTTP controller and uh, let's refresh it once and here you can see that all right so after that i am uh, making a route for it and i have to just go for the web.php right so i'm just going to remove my previous route and making a new one so that you can see it from the very scratch get and uh, this is a database list so i'm just going to put the router name is list and user at the rate list this is list is my function name it again so all right so now i'm going to open this page and making a function inside the controller just make a function list and in this list i can simply uh, write something echo like echo code will be here so I'm just going to print it once more once so that we can check that this is working or not. So let's put here list and uh, let's see where is the error. Yeah, because I have to put it here users. That's it. So now you can see that the code is here. Okay. After that, let's see the next point. I have to import the model inside the controller. So let's use here use app and my model name is user all right and now very simple thing is just write here return uh, model name and all right and now let's see now you can see that we got the data here is it the same data here inside the table yes there is a two columns here and we can see that them here so let's say i don't want to connect this with the users table that how we can connect it the manual so i want to connect it with the company table for that what we can do for that just go inside the model which is the user and just write here protect it protected dollar table and table name which is company okay and now let's check the output 
okay select star form yeah I just misspelled the company now you can see that we got the data from the table company all right okay so this point is also covered now let's see the next point we did that also now let's make a view and pass the data to the view for that I just have to go inside my uh, resource folder where we have to define the views views and just make a new view like user dot blade dot php or you can put here user view dot blade dot php all right and just save it and here just write a normal div you can put your complete html but for the quick video i am just going to put here div all right and uh, just write here view page here and inside your controller just uh, remove for now just comment it for now and just write here return view first column is view name and that's it all right and let's see what is there now you can see that we are able to access the view also so now uncomment this code take it this data inside the variable like data and pass it as in second parameter and second parameter data should be a kind of array so just write here data or you can take anything that if you want data so now this data is passed here so now how we can get this data for that just write here ul And inside here just take a for each loop at the rate for each this is our the why uh, if you don't know that's why we put the at the rate then you have to watch our previous video about the front end uh, blade template the link is given in the description box all right so just write here dollar data as dollar i let's say and at the end just write here and for each nice and in the middle just take a li here and just write here dollar i name and now let's see the result now you can see that we got the list of all companies two three four five uh, three and three six companies are here then you can see that there is a total six of result all right so uh, we are complete or successfully these things now let's see we have to put a where condition so let's say i want to get the data where uh, let's say address is noeda all right so just go inside the view here and write here where address and second parameter is noeda after the comma obviously and uh, just put here get function all right and now let's see now you can see that the Samsung and Infogen only placed in Noida and the same thing is here okay so now let's say these companies are we don't know the order of these companies so if I just uh, remove it simply uh, just remove it from here we don't know the order of so let's say we just need to ascending and descending order with the behalf of name then we can just simply put it here order by and pass the two parameter one for the field name which is name and second for ascending ascending or descending all right so just uh, right here an arrow right and let's see now you can see that the ascending order and if you want to see in the descending then right here de okay so this is a descending order so let's say if you need to get data only up, up to the limit so just take use here take function and inside that take function just write here two only and now you will get only two data here 
if you just put here one then it will put only one data here if you just put here zero then you will get nothing all right so this is all about that how you can get that data from database or fetch the data and uh, how you can pass to the view and make a list so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks guys bye bye